So we ran into this DIY dry dog shampoo online on a few different websites and thought we'd give it a try. We grabbed a used empty seasoning container for mixing and shaking it onto the dogs. We started with about two cups of baking soda and added the same amount in cornstarch. The different sites that had this basic recipe all had 50-50 baking soda to cornstarch. I shook it up really well before adding the oils. It's weird, it feels kind of like water when you shake it. We decided to go with lavender, tea tree, and eucalyptus essential oils to help with yeast. Our Dane has problems with yeast in his ears and we did find a spray solution for that, but we thought we'd try this to help keep the dogs clean. The big guy isn't a very good patient, but maybe we can put up a video of the ear solution another time. I'm using 10 drops each of all three essential oils. I recommend doing your research and getting pure essential oils. Many that are used for aromatherapy and even a lot that are sold in health food stores have added perfumes. I do love Revive. Uh, they go through the same testing as some of the more expensive brands. You don't have to join an MLM and they have excellent prices and selection. Once you've added all your oils, give it another good shake. To apply it, start by brushing your dogs. We're using a horse brush from Tractor Supply. Shake the mixture onto your dogs and be sure to work it into those skin folds that can be where dogs sometimes get a little funky. If your dog has problems with yeast on his paws, I would recommend getting some between the toes. Let it sit for about 10 minutes and then brush it through. If you have big dogs like we do, you know it's very, very hard to bathe them. So this should make it so that you can go much longer between actual baths. Living off grid, we're always trying to save water and this will allow us to not have to use a bunch of water keeping the dogs clean enough to be in the house. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way and this is after both the Doberman and the Great Dane. The next day, both dogs still looked shiny, smelled clean and were much nicer to love on. Click to subscribe if you'd like to see more slick city ditchers. Thanks for watching and happy off-gridding!